everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Now I'm throwing it back old school to winged eyeliner days and false eyelash days and how to apply them and all that jazz. I remember these videos circulated the internet years ago, like years and years and years ago. And I had this friend once in elementary school. Yeah, that's how long I've been wearing makeup since like seventh grade. And she always would bug me with asking, when are you gonna do a video of how you apply your winged eyeliner? And I was like, I don't know if that video would fly. Like I'm just, I'm not really into the idea. And now that I think about it, it's taken me years to master how I do it and the technique of how I do it. And I almost always do it off camera. So you guys don't even get to see me apply my eyeliner ever or false eyelashes. Cause it is quite tricky and challenging to do while staying in the frame of the camera as well as you know, being in a mirror on the side, trying to apply it and making them look like uh, twins. There is a saying for eyebrows, you know, when you get them threaded in wax that your eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins. And I think the same thing about winged eyeliner. I mean, as much as we want them to look identical on each side, it's very difficult to achieve that, especially when you have your dominant hand, mine being right, right will just be easier typically for me to do, but sometimes, you know, I surprise myself and the left one looks better. So I'm just feeling really cute with this little scrunchie in my hair. So I thought it was about time to share how I do it. And honestly, it went pretty well. I thought that I would be messing up quite a bit on camera, scrap the whole video, don't even upload it. But I actually had some fun doing this makeup look. So I will throw the timestamp on the screen here where I start my process of applying the eyeliner. But if you do want to stay to just listen about some of the products I use and why, then keep on watching. And before I forget, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to my channel, the notification bell, and the thumbs up button so I know to film more future tutorials, I guess. So starting off with the eyeliner. Now you can do winged eyeliner with black eyeshadow. You can do it with gel eyeliner. You can do it with pencil eyeliner. You can do it with liquid liner. I think I'm covering about just all of the bases. I have tried it all. My preference is obviously liquid liner. I think that is the obvious choice for many just because it is the most wet and smooth and easy to be able to glide and connect and just perfect. And when you need to use a makeup remover to go in and fix it, it's much easier to do. I find that with a gel eyeliner, the formula is thicker and uh, it's more smudgy. So it's not fun to work with. And then a pencil, I'm tugging way too much on my eye when I'm trying to do the winged portion and eyeshadow. I just never, it just doesn't look the cleanest to me. If you're trying to do like a smokier, blackish gray eye look, definitely that would probably be up your alley, but on a typical day to day basis, I'm reaching towards this. Now, I've tried every liquid liner from the drugstore to high end, you know, the ones that are raved about the most from the top brands at Sephora. I honestly, <laughs> to this day, my favorite one thus far, and it's not waterproof, you may be able to buy a waterproof version, but it is the Sephora High Precision Eyeliner. Now I like this one because it's kind of in the middle price range, and I know it's sold at Sephora, but don't be fooled. It's not like 20 or $24. I know Kat Von D kind of falls in that range, and then there are other brands that are upwards of that, and then you know the drugstore you're paying eight to 10 bucks. This one I think is 16, so it's kind of smack in the middle, and I don't go through it that that quickly, and it doesn't seem to dry out that quickly either. So this is a good product. I also enjoy that the brush is quite thin. Now I go into detail about this when I actually start the tutorial, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail now, but look at that. She is sharp as <laughs> Anyway, I really like this product. I highly recommend Sephora sponsor me. <laughs> Next, we will move on to the makeup remover that I use when I need to do my eyeliner. And that is just the Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I've been using this for years like years and years, um, dance competition days, I haven't subbed off of this. The only other makeup remover that I use is just baby oil. And that's easiest for when you're taking off lashes at the end of the night. You tend to sometimes get those little lash glue clumps and that just, the oil just breaks it up and rubs it right off. So this is more if you're in the process of doing your eyeliner and you need to fix and tweak, 
this is a really good product. Now moving on to the lashes. Now I used to wear eyelashes at dance competitions when I was younger, when I used to dance competitively, and I would never wear them out in public, but as like lash extensions started to get more popular and girls just liked to look more glam all the time, I kind of started to jump back on the bandwagon because there are lashes you can get that are more natural, but still are full and look like you have a more of a full set of lashes. So the ones that I honestly swear by, and they're not crazy expensive because I know now there are ones that are like 20, 30, 40 dollars per lash set. I just get the Ardell Naturals. They are the 105s and I got a five pack here from Walmart. Uh, you can also get it on like beautylish.com and go to the drugstore and get it. But these are just my go-tos. They look full and it looks like you're wearing lashes. I do think that, but it's not like crazy fluffy and super, super black. I think that the lashes are spaced out quite enough to you know blend and just look like a soft glam with your makeup look. It even says here, eye lifting effect. That's exactly what I would say. When it comes to mascara to blend your eyelashes, literally use anything you want. This is just the Tarte Man Eater and it's the one I demonstrate putting on in the video. The tool that I had helped me kind of apply slash set my eyelash in place are just these little eyelash applicator tong things. I got this from a brand who sent this to me. I can't even remember. I'll link it down below if I can, but you can purchase this on Amazon, get it at the drugstore, or even use tweezers. You don't have to get this eyelash tool. I typically use my fingers to apply lashes and then I just use this to set in place. So that's that. And last but not least, you want a good eyelash curler. Now I don't like to settle for cheap ones anymore. I grew up using like drugstore brands and I just felt like it didn't, the metal wasn't strong. I just didn't feel like the rubber and the metal were good quality enough. So I, you know, made the splurge and got a Shuomura one, which is like 30, 35 bucks or something at the time. And this one works wonders. I've had it for years. I just give it a clean every now and then and replace the rubber and you're good to go. So that's what I use to blend the eyelash that's natural of mine and then the fake one together. If you guys have any other questions of products I recommend for this kind of eye process, then leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to duplicate this eye right here, and that is doing the winged eyeliner as well as the application of the false lash. Now, I'm using a liquid liner today on my left eye. My right eye, it's I have my right hand as my dominant hand, so it's obviously a little bit easier to control and be able to do. Left is a little bit of a reach, so it could get a little more awkward, but the way I've set up my mirror here for the camera, um, it will be easiest for me to demonstrate on my left eye. So that's how I set it up today. You guys are getting the more challenging eye. Now people have different ways, techniques, and an order of steps that they do their winged eyeliner in. And the way that I taught myself, or I guess learned from beauty gurus growing up. So the order of steps that I completed in is start from the outer corner and come to the center. And then I'm gonna go to the inner corner and I'm going to connect it back to that center point right here. So it meets and completes a full line. Then I will go ahead and complete the wing. So let me do the first part and then I will explain the second part right after. So the eyeliner I'm going to be using today on camera is the Sephora High Precision Eyeliner. The brush is so, so fine detailed. It gives you a lot of control. Um, but with that being said, you have to be very, very particular where you're placing the black line. So don't be in a rush, take your time. Um, winged eyeliner is never perfect. It's very hard to duplicate and make it look like the wing on your other eye. Okay, see how I got to the center? I made a little mistake there and I will clean that up. This is exactly what I mean by this brush is so finely um, small and precision-y. So um, I flicked a little bit with my eye there. Now I'm gonna go to the inner corner, meet the center point, and I know it's slightly past, but you get the point. Okay, so. This is going great because I already made another mistake, but we're gonna clean that up real quick with a Q-tip and some makeup remover. My favorite one to use for liquid liner is just the Rimmel waterproof makeup remover. One thing I wanna say before I continue to do the actual wing part is 
when you're learning, you will go through quite a bit of Q-tips or cotton swabs, whatever you call them. Um, just because you are learning, you're trying to get the hang of it and you're trying to really perfect that line. Um, I don't use nearly as many today, like to the States, but it's just something to obviously be wary of. All right, now for the actual wing part. So I'm going to take my eyeliner and I'm going to draw basically like a triangle and I'm gonna do the outline first and then I'm going to fill it in. So the first thing I do is start the outer part. I kind of take a look at how the other one looks so I can see lengthwise how long the wing has to be. Okay, see how I connected it there? Now we're going to close it off. Okay, so it's a little wonky there. But we're gonna fix that up, so fill it in. Okay, so you can obviously see this one's thicker. So we're gonna clean that, and we're gonna try to thin it out a bit. And I also made a little mistake there with some eyeliner. Here. gonna flick the wing a little more so you want to use just the very very edge of your tip the thinnest part of the brush just to flick it a little more a little messy so we're gonna go ahead and clean that up All right, so as you can see, this one is a little bit thicker than this eye, but I would say the wings themselves look very, very similar. Um, probably most of the, the closest dead on I've got in a while with uh, winged eyeliner, probably because I took my time. Just something to be aware of with this eyeliner though is that it does transfer to your eyelashes and it remains there like wet. So what I do is I wet my fingertips under the tap and then I just pull on my eyelash, not even pull, but just kind of stroke to get that black off. And then when I feel like I've gotten most of it off, I'll go ahead and apply my mascara. Now today I'm doing a two in one video and I'm doing my application of false eyelashes as well because typically when I wear my eyeliner thicker like this, it almost looks silly just to put mascara. I find in my opinion for my own eyes, because my eyelashes just aren't very voluminous and coarse and hold a curl well, so they almost look like naked mole rat eyelashes when I don't put on eyelashes um, with thick eyeliner. So we're gonna go ahead and do that step right now. I also did get some eyeliner on my lashes, but I'm not gonna worry about it because they're gonna be covered up by false eyelashes now. All right, so I have my velour glue and then I have this little magnetic like eyelash grabber thing. I got these in a magnetic eyelash pack, but I use these all the time, not even to apply eyelashes, but just to press the eyelash into my eye after it is glued on, which I will demonstrate in a second, but you can obviously use tweezers as well. Just be careful you don't poke your eye out. And apply the glue to the lash. Now, these have been worn a few times already, so there is some glue already to it. I haven't used this camera for any super extreme close-ups yet, so it's just shocking and crazy to me how quick it'll catch focus on what I'm trying to hold and show the camera. It's unbelievable, this camera's awesome. So for a lot of eyelash glues that aren't duo by Sephora, um, I would typically wait and wait till the glue gets a little bit tacky, and by that I mean it gets almost a bit sticky feeling. It's not so slippery anymore. So something like Duo, which you can buy from the drugstore, that I would have to wait. This one I can almost immediately feel confident to put it right on my eye, and tacky or not, it will stay and not slide around. So we're gonna go ahead and do so. So the way I do it is I grab the tip of it, so the outer corner, and I place it right on, and I kind of go edge to center, and then I'll press it in, which you'll see. So edge, grab your other fingers, place it down, and now press it in. Okay, you wanna make sure it's lined up as close to your eyelashes, your natural eyelashes as possible, so they blend easier. Take your tweezers or your eyelash tool, Press it in. Now this happens sometimes, you'll get a black dot or transfer from your top eyelash 
from the eyeliner or mascara, so just give that a quick wipe with a Q-tip. Now that a few minutes have gone by, I know that the lash is attached to my eye, so I'm gonna go ahead with just some mascara. This is just to bring your natural eyelashes and your false ones together, so I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara that came in my Whitney Simmons makeup set, and just be gentle when you do this because you don't want your eyelash to pop off, but it shouldn't if you glued it on really well, so I'm just blending the two together. You don't have to go crazy with the amount of layers of mascara you place on your eyelashes because that is why you're wearing fake ones. Now, I wait a few more minutes to go by. I wait closer to five just because you don't want to risk ripping out your eyelashes. You want to make sure they're dry because you just put a wet coat of mascara on. I would take my eyelash curler. This one is from Shuamora, and I will curl them together so they blend as one. I just do a little squeeze. And I feel like companies are getting better at doing this, but if you want to blend the band better into your eyeliner, I would just go back in with your liquid liner and go over the band ever so gently just to cover up any white, like dried up white glue from previous times you've used the eyelashes. And that is the completed tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun filming this one. And if you have any future like step-by-step -step process type videos you want me to film makeup wise, then leave them down below and I'll be sure to read them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Whew.